got a 35 gallon propane cylinder sitting up here it's completely full of water and it's got a plug welded in the top of it and then I've got a Freon cylinder with a completely full of water with the plug welded in the top of it let's see what the old Kentucky elephant gun does to it this is basically an experiment to see how much hydraulic or hydrostatic force is generated how much power that force has got. Will it tear a hole in it? Will it go all the way through it? Will it blow the container up? Now the propane cylinder is like, oh, sixteenth of an inch metal. Whereas the Freon cylinder is like pretty thin gauge sheet metal. It doesn't have very much pressure value in it at all. So let's see what happens. Step off here. Winchester 150 grain silver tip. Propane cylinder. <laughs> like nothing. Freon cylinder. Just pick that up. Let's pick it up, bipod and all. Boy, they're having fun down there, ain't they? Set her back down there. Get my Martian bipod back down here. Okay, let's see what it did. Glancing, leave it there. Okay. There. That's close enough. Get her. <laughs> God, that's cinematography right there. You okay. got her lined up on the propane good? Yep. Trying to get it to go through it. Clear. Four bullet holes. So 
Those cylinders are made out of about eighth of an inch gauge sheet metal. Now I know that a 30 odd six off point will go all the way through one, but it won't go all the way through one full of water. So that tells me that water is quite a bit of resistance to a high powered rifle bullet. Well, that's about the end of this experiment for next installment on, hey, let's shoot some stupid stuff. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me a dollar in the Patreon book if you want to, and I'll keep right on to making content for you. God bless everybody, and we'll see you when we see you.